waiting. I am tired of waiting for Tommy. I mean, he's not ready to settle down with me, so why should I keep on being at the receiving end? Men are not the way to send the They love to do anything at their own convenience. Mama, that convenience is no longer suitable for me at all. Ha. In fact, Mama, I blame you. I blame you because if you had allowed me to marry Tito, I, I would be suffering like this now. Eh? We will be married with us now. Listen to me, young lady. I am your mother. And I'm in a better position to tell you. Tito is just, is just a lousy musician who, who cannot decipher between his left and his right. Mm. A lousy musician, for Tito is married. Mama happily married for that matter. If he's so lousy as you claim, then how come he's so happy in his marriage? Who told you he's happy in his marriage? Who told you? His calm nature, level-headedness, and humility is what counts. What you need is patience and perseverance. You are a woman, aren't you? Exercise your feminine virtue on him. Maybe it will spur him into action. Otherwise, just have to remain calm and play your cards very, very well. Hmm? I have to excuse myself and get you something to eat, okay? Man, I tell you, man, Ronnie, he's a clown, that dude. I'm telling you. Hey, that guy just missed his calling. He should be a stand up comedian. And he's always agitating over little issues of irrelevant things. He just start complaining. And all this thing about his allergies too. Insects touch him or fly, flies by. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm It's just so crazy that guy, I'm telling you. Oh, it's 
city. Yeah? Well, there's a story I wanted to tell you about. Well, I'm all ears. It's interesting. There was this guy who lived in my neighborhood. His name was Chris. Was? Was. Chris dated Monica, who happened to be my classmate at the university. We dated for about six years. Chris was a banker at that time though. But Chris delayed on his intentions to marry her and you know, a woman's time runs faster than a fading rose. So Monica couldn't stand the delay. And luckily for her, some rich guy came around and proposed to her. She willingly agreed. Chris was devastated. He couldn't stand it. He tried all he could to win her back to no avail. And so you know what he did? What? He took his life. Jesus Christ, he took his own life? Why would he do a thing like that? He delayed on his intentions to my her. Hmm. And he paid dearly for it. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is that delay is dangerous. I hope you've learned a lesson from this story. Hey, sweetie. Ah, I can see you fixing your nails. Nice. Are you going out? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm rushing up to the office. Tell me you work on Saturdays too. Well, not exactly. It's just that I have a couple of paperwork to tidy up. I'll be back before you know it. You know what you're going to do for me? I want you to please cook me my favorites, okay? Bye.
how do you reconcile this situation? Huh? What situation? There is this couple, they've been married for a couple of years. But with the look of things, it seems like the marriage won't last. Why? Well, because there is a nagging problem on the part of the wife. Whatever does she not for? Is she too demanding? Hey, that was the problem would have been more manageable. The problem is more like she's not domesticated at all. Well, she doesn't do house chores, she doesn't do the husband's laundry, and most of all, she doesn't cook. She'll rather be eat out, always. My God, what sort of woman is that? Is it that she doesn't know how to do all these things or what? If I were married to that kind of lousy woman, I would hesitate to divorce her at once. Sincerely, that would be your best of option? Of course. I mean, what would a man be doing with such a lousy woman who cannot take responsibility as the woman of the house? to go. Great. You can go back to bed now. No? I'll just get back to my work. Good night. Good night. Nice. Donnie, I think I'm done for the day, man. I can't stand another bottle. <laughs> Now you step aside and watch me drink. If I told you I have a better capacity than you do. Come on, baby. You know it's not a credit. And I'm sure Trisha will not be happy with that. How do you mean? It's obvious she doesn't like your smoking and drinking habits. Can't you read in between the lines? Even if she doesn't like my smoking and drinking habits, so you call it. At least she's not complaining. So why crying when I'm you? Wait, 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 wait. That she's not complaining does not mean that she likes it. Maybe she has her reasons for not wanting to complain, you know? Such as? <sighs> I wouldn't know. Boy, she don't have the right words to say. You just stay quiet. You don't spoil my day, okay? I'm signing right now, okay, but um, as soon as I'm through, I'll, I'll, I'll be with you very soon. Uh, yeah. No, very, very soon. Very soon, okay? Yeah. No problem. <laughs> okay, you too. Love you too. Bye. Very soon you'll be leaving for your orientation camp in Chattanooga. Yeah. I'll miss you. I'm going to miss you too, darling. But well, at least you're going to find time to come and see me. Yeah, yeah, of course I will. Okay. Trisha. Hmm? This question might sound strange. I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. What is it about a man you don't like? I don't understand. I mean, what are the things and habits you so much dislike in a man? Why are you asking? No reason, I'm just curious. Curious? Mm. Okay. Mm. Let me see. Well, personally, the things I do not like in a man, it's, um, it's when a man talks too much, who smokes in asses and also drinks. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. I hope you're not saying this on purpose. Or are you trying to pull my legs? <laughs> Why should I try to pull your legs? 
How come you've not talked about this since you know that much about me? Darling, we're not in the law court here, are we? Is that why you're not giving it to my marriage proposal? Stoner, please don't start now, okay? I mean, we've been through this before and I've told you my reasons why I can't accept your proposals now. Why well, you... All right, all right, no problem, no problem. I'm really sure. Hmm? Let's get finished. Let's get out of here, right? What is it? I don't know. The strong stench of Indian hemp around here. <laughs> so strong. Oh, that's a normal occurrence around here. It's from the neighborhood. It's a normal occurrence here. Mm -hmm. From the neighborhood. Yeah. Let me tell you something, Tony. Is it not better you get some of these neighbors of yours arrested? Because this is an infringement on human health. <laughs> Let's go inside. Try to figure out what kind of a man you are. Why? I mean, I just wonder how you're able to cope with living in such a big house, you know, wasting space. I don't understand. What's the issue? I know you don't understand. But the issue here is Rachel. Oh. I mean, Tony, why are you wasting her time? Tony. This house is too large for you alone. Ronnie, you want to understand. The point is, I'm taking my time. I don't want to rush into this blindly. What do you mean you don't want to rush into it blindly? Tony, you guys have been dating for the past three years, if I'm correct. 
Or is there something I'm missing here? I'm not insinuating anything, Rain. Yeah, quite true. Notwithstanding my long-standing relationship with Rachel, I still have to be very thorough and careful. Marriage is a lifetime commitment. You know, it's for better, for worse. Till death. You don't... You, you know, you gotta be careful before you just dabble into it. You know that. Tony, in as much as I tend to agree with you, but the point still remains that time waits for no man, especially the feminine gender. Meantime, why don't you give us something to hope for? Such as? Like commemorating your relationship in a three-year anniversary celebration, just you and I. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that kind of idea? Just some kind of an inspirational idea. And it usually works wonders on the woman's anxiety while she waits. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Ronnie? Well, for once in your life, you have spoken sense. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> to a long-standing relationship. Cheers. Cheers. You care to dance? I am not in the mood. Why? Tony. Why have you refused to formalize our relationship? Look, it's over three years now and and I was thinking tonight was going to be the night. I was thinking you were going to propose to me tonight. Why bother about this, Rachel, baby girl? Come on. Don't forget, you just finished your youth service. Oh, please. Please. That is not what I'm talking about, and you know it. Baby, how else do we prove that we love each other? Look, I am a woman. Remember. Fine. We'll get the ball rolling when I return from my seminar in Port Harcourt. Not again. I have heard that countless times. I'm not interested. Well, I assure you, this time, Rachel, there'll be no countless time. I promise. Now. Shall we dance? That's my girl. First challenge is possible in this situation where both partners are not sure of themselves. But Mama, is there a greater challenge than a situation where the woman or the wife is found smoking cigarette and Indian hemp? why men these days delay and take their time before settling down with a woman. You know, women these days are very unpredictable. I thank God Rachel doesn't smoke. But that's not the reason why you are delaying your marriage to her. After all, you've got her for a hmm? And from the much I've seen her, she's a good girl. I don't think she'll smoke. So my son, don't let such a mistake discourage you, okay? Mama, I'm hungry. Do you have anything at home for me? I have your favorite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let me go and prepare the food for you. Thanks, Mama. So, what I was saying, I'm done enough. Meet my platoon mates, Joyce Andrews. Joyce, this is my fiance, Donnie. Actually, his name is Donald Akin. 
but I call him Donny, you know, for sure. <laughs> Donald just came in from Lagos to see me. Isn't that yeah, beautiful? Tony, that's very nice of you. So pleased to meet you. Yeah, it's a pleasure to Trisha has told me a lot about you. Oh, You're right. Really? I hope it's all a positive thing. Because I always do things positively now. You know, I'm a man of quality and focus. Is there any honey? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you're positive indeed. I think I have to leave both of you. I have a lunch date. All right, a lunch you. date? <laughs> Fisher, okay. I'll Fisher, I'll see you later. Right, no problem. Take care. Yeah. So, sweetheart. Yeah. How long did you stay in Kumaka? Uh, I just have two more days to spare. During which time I want us to uh, talk and straighten on some intimate issues. And what kind of intimate issues could you be talking about? Why don't you find out in my hotel room? <laughs> Bad boy. Okay, um, let's say, why don't you drop me off in my apartment and I get dressed? Because this dress is killing me. You don't understand you don't it. Mean. It doesn't even fit. Just <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. All right, cool. Look at this man. <laughs> you don't know who I am. Listen, I've traveled far and wide. I've dined and wine with kings and queens of both England and Spain. Uh, that's and I not have the issue. That's not the issue, my friend. That you have traveled far and wide, you have dined with kings, you have dined with queens, is not the issue on the ground. You people don't know that experience counts in matters of resource management. What kind of experience now? <laughs> you have a lot to learn from me. Hey, there she curves. That's the most beautiful woman in the whole world. My behavior. Look, I heard you give your voice right from the gate. What is wrong with you? Why do you keep talking anyhow when you're with people? I am sorry. Uh, I was just excited. Oh. You're excited. Try not to be excited next time. And I do not like the way you, you talk about me with strangers. What is wrong? I'm sorry, honey. I'm wondering why you're not particular about the settling down as husband and wife. I mean, it's quite like the most young girls out there who will just, you know. Do you know. Donald, why are you trying to bring this up now? I mean, why do you want to spoil this lovely moment? We've been through this before, I've told you. All I need is time. I want to get through with my youth service. I don't know, for crying out loud, it's just a one-year activity. Why just, can't you just grant me that opportunity? I don't see your youth service as a barrier. It has nothing to do with it, my girl. Donald, I want to be through with youth service, find a job. Then I will start considering getting married. I do not want to be a liability to you. No, 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 honey. Honey, listen up. As long as we are one in the heart, what I have is yours. Job or no job, I can still take good care of you, right? I know. I know, sweetheart. But you know that I believe in financial independence so much. I mean, marriage is all about partnership, isn't it? Or oh, have you lost touch in that school of thought? Don't know. I promise you. I promise you from my heart that I will be your wife. Oh, please, all I ask of you is just a little time. Please. Please, my darling. Please.
Tony. I still don't understand why on earth you're still delaying it. Is Rachel no longer good enough for you? Mama, it's not like I don't want to settle down. Then what is your problem? Are you not old enough? Or don't you know I would like to carry my grandchildren one day? Mama, listen. I and Rachel will discuss this issue over and over again. The problem with me right now is just that I have my eyes presently set on that business seminar in Port Harcourt. Spare me that, Tony! Spare me that! What business seminar is more important than the thought of fulfilling what is expected of you as a full-grown, mature, and successful businessman, Tony? Eh? I'm not getting any younger, you know that? All right, Mom. All right, all right. I've heard you. I've heard you perfectly well, and I promise you that next week or so, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna start planning, all right? You better do that. The earlier the better. The earlier the better, Tony. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, I'm going. Going where? Let me drop you off. Get in the car. Tony, don't bother yourself. Keep your car. Dropping me will not solve my present worries, okay? Mama. Why are you being difficult, for God's sake, Mama? Eh? Whatever worries you're having, it can be handled. Keep your car, Tony. I am fine with that. Your car, Biko. Keep your car. Mama, your car. Mama. Good morning, my daughter. How are you? Fine, thank you. Are you doing this? Mm -hmm. This house is no longer conducive for me, and he knows why. He knows why. Is Tony not dropping you off? No, I asked him not to. I prefer a married man dropping me to a bachelor. Yes. Okay, then in that case, let me see. Okay. Okay. Honestly, Fred, yeah. I love Trisha beyond words. She gets, she's everything I need in a woman. <laughs> Flash is my life, man. Come on, boy. If you love her the way you're sounding, why haven't you taken her down the aisles? <laughs> you wouldn't believe this. She says she doesn't want to settle down with me, except when she secures a job after a new service. Come on. That's quite strange. Many a girl won't even wait for a guy to say, I want to marry you a second time before jumping at the proposition. But wait, what's her reason? She wants to be financially independent. Okay, 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 okay. I think she's correct. But you know, in as much as I tend to agree with her, still, I don't think it's enough reason for her not to agree to your proposal, you know? Except perhaps she doesn't love you the way no, you... No, no. Far from it. Trisha and I love each other very well. But why the stupid conditions? Uh, uh, why? So I'll have to be a little patient. Mama, good day. What is it? Why are you looking like this? What's wrong? I got full stops in the car. Hold your full stop. Did I tell you I need full stop? Did I tell you I'm hungry? Why are you stubborn, Tony? What is your problem? Mama, I have no problem. What is it? Why are you talking? Me like this. I've told you to stop treating me like I committed the worst sin on the face of the earth. Marriage is not what you just jump into. I agree with you totally. Uh -huh. For three years is not three days. You've kept that poor girl wretched standing for three good years. Three good years, Tony. Tell me, if you don't want to marry her, I will talk to her myself and get you a good wife. Mama, you know what? I am sick and tired of hearing you hammer this issue down my head for the rest of my life. I already gave you the reason why I can't do this. How else do you want me to explain to you? I told you when I return, I will get into it. What more do you want from me? If this is the reason why you call me, Mama, I'll stop picking up your calls. Hey!
What are you doing? Don't tell me you're living for tacos. I didn't tell you I was going for tacos. Did you? Yeah, I did. I told you I was going for tacos for a social, official engagement. I thought you said you guys are nearing your discharge stage. How come this sudden social engagement? Yeah, but honey, you know how it is. I mean, you've been there before. Things just come up and you have to attend to them. And you know me, I wouldn't want to come with anything less than a very good certificate. Honey, can't you wait? Can't you wait? Sweetheart. You, you, you'll get to Potapo and find out you just don't practice it too early. I you know how you feel, darling. Okay? Well, my schedule has already been drawn and I intend to stick to it. But don't worry, I'll come back next week. Trisha. Trisha. Hmm? You would not believe who I saw at the supermarket yesterday. Hmm? Yes. Look, please leave me alone if you don't see me. <laughs> Benedict Okolo. <laughs> it's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie. Our Benedict in Okolo. Benedict, of course. Ah, what did she do with Barakot? She came with her husband on a business trip. And they'll be leaving for Lagos tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um, she even acts after you. Now, wow. So she's married. <laughs> you know, it really beats me why she didn't complete her university education. Marriage was a priority to her. I don't know. But personally, I would rather marry old and successful than to spoil my youthful career. I mean, me, I do not want to be a liability to any man. Education is never late. Yeah. She can still go back to school and finish if she wishes. Mm. At least she has first of first hold just like me. Just leave me alone and pick your phone of me. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. I've not heard from you in a long while. What happened? Okay, love. <laughs> oh, camp, it's fine. When are you coming to see us? Okay, okay. Alright, I missed you too. I missed you. Um Okay. My regards to my in love. Alright, alright. I love you. I love you so much. Bye. That was my husband. Late. You've seen me now, no? Of course <laughs> I know it is. I mean, for the way you were smiling and rolling your eyes, you wouldn't know it's Blake. It's <laughs> how is he anyway? He's fine. He sends his regards. Oh God, Kisha. Marriage is the sweetest thing that can ever happen in one's life. Really? It's so fulfilling. <laughs> so what I say now? That we that or me that is not married now should go to the wall and hit my baby. Are you sabi? That's not what I said. I wish I could go with super tacos. I'll be lonely without you. I'll be lonely without you too. But you know how it is. I'll barely have time for you even if you come along with me. You know how time consuming this business seminars can be. It'll just seem like you waiting all alone by yourself in the hotel room without me being there. It's okay. I wish you a safe journey. Thanks. Hey. Okay. I promise. When I return, we'll start making plans for our wedding. And I will make it up for your loneliness. I need to rush up now because Ronnie's already waiting for me there.
what's up? <laughs> I mean, what are you thinking about following me to my next trip to Kaduna? I promise it's gonna be much fun, you know. Ah. Which one be Kaduna again? <laughs> <laughs> eh? I thought you told me your next trip was to Abuja. Don't mind me, Joe. I change my mind any day, any time. Depending on which is more promising, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this time, my lovely Mugu. I'm sure you know him now, Rajima Rabi. Mm -hmm. You know him, I've been mean, him before. <laughs> he prefers we hang out at his ranch in Kaduna. Mm -hmm. And when I come back in a month's time, I'll be in Portacourt now to see Senator Gumel for the things he promised me. My chick! You're too much money. Too much money. Oh yeah, too much money. Hey, hey, now you don't enjoy now. I'm not caught up for all that rubbish. Show. Stay there and misbehave. It's only you they can deceive. They can deceive me. Think is every girl that's ready for all these wahala for men, all in the name of marriage. I'm not caught up for that. That's my problem, oh. Girl, I need to settle down now. I need to get married. My body needs to. I'm not against your desire to get married. But as a young girl in this modern age, you need to shine your eyes. Rachel, shine these eyes now. I go you well. Shine these eyes. See, let me tell you, there's so much to explore and to discover. Now that you have all the time on your laps before you enter into that prison house called marriage. But girl, shine your eyes, you open up. Hey. Okay, what am I going to tell my fiancé now? What am I going to tell him he's taking me to Kaduna with him? Your excuse is not far-fetched now. <laughs> Just tell him you're going to school to get your transcript. Thank God you even graduated from maybe you Zion. Oh, yes, yeah. so that's it! Oh, oh, my baby! Well, girl, I will pull out some babies. Even when you see, you will know it. Trust me. My girl, you are a big liar. Me, yes, professional. You know, some kind of liar. They come to you. Girl, I love you. I come. You got trip, you girl. You know we are going. You know everything. We shall be there, like. No, no. through a financial journal. Can you imagine? Bakari and Son, I know they are waiting. Do you know how much they stake? 450 million naira. Man, man, these guys are making me. These guys are... Rony, come on. We're in a public place. We're here to relax and unwind. Let's keep talking about money in the meantime. This thing is pissing me off. We, we, we need to buckle up, bro. We need to buckle up. You need to unwind. You need to unwind. Anyway, What's on the house for you? What's on the house for you? I'll just have some. Tony, I thought we were going to make it an exception to the rules. I mean, by like going for a beer. Why? Don't you? You're going to soft on drinks, man. Well, everyone has got his own style. Uh, Batman, get me a beer and uh, what's it gonna be? A soda water. A soda water. Yeah. 
Come on, Joy, you can talk. Tell me, when was the last time you did something for the first time? Why do you ask? Well, you know, every passing moment in life presents a new experience, but most importantly is how you actually handle those experiences that matter. Tony, you know something? I've not really told you. But I respect you a lot. Yeah, I respect you. I mean, it's almost rare to see a man of your caliber in this present age who doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, and doesn't womanize. Honestly, sometimes I I wish I'm like you. Well, I, it's all about discipline, Ronnie. And most of all, it's all in the mind. All in the mind. I think I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I think I agree with you. Well, it's always you. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, girls. What's up? Come on. Hey, guys, you didn't tell me you were coming to the garage. I guess I would have told David, my guy, to come and check me here. Hmm. It's not late. You can still call him on your mobile. Yeah. Okay. So, what are you girls taking? Juice. Should I place it with a touch of brandy? It's very, very fantastic. Why do you always act naive? Lynn, you should know that I would never taste brandy. Sorry, I always forgot. And bye, man. Please come. You don't do that here. Come on. You. Why? Wiggy, you know the smell of cigarettes the stops Trisha. <laughs> Besides, why do you always smoke in public? It is not good for you as a woman. Who gives and this your righteous ways, God? It's my own life we are talking here. I'm not yours. God, what's the matter with you girls? Huh? Eh? Fat, you girls have spoiled my day. Please, excuse me. Go, 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 go. Good readers, bad rubbish. Exactly. Look, I'm getting tired of this dress. Let's spoil it. I'm famished. Oh, I see one cute. I'm very, very hungry. <laughs> Let's order for food. What is wrong with you, Joyce? Joyce, why do you always eat out? Why can't you just comfortably go home and cook your meals? Shisha, I am not in the mood of cooking. It's so stressful. You of all people should know that stress is part of a woman's disposition. If you can't cope with it now, then when would you? How do you even manage to take care of your husband? Please, Trisha, I am not in the mood for arguments. Okay, save it. So, what's up? What are you saying? Let's go. I'll do the meals for one time. That is my girl. Don't you dare <laughs> get out. <laughs> yeah, you with that. Yeah. My girl. <laughs> And I saw Bakari and Sons, Bakari and Sons of all people. I know they are rating. Do you know how much they take? 450 million naira. Oh. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, me. Come on. We're in a public place where you had to relax and unwind. Can you just keep talking about money in the meantime? It's almost rare to see a man of your caliber in this present age who doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, and doesn't even lie. Joyce, what is wrong with you? I mean, why do you prefer eating out when you can comfortably cook your own meals at home? Come on, let's go. I'll cook the meal.
Hi, honey, what's up? Yeah, 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 I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was going out. I'm just somewhere around. No, 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 I'm not in the park. No. It's chow, Ronnie. Chow, chow, whatever. <laughs> um, Ronnie, listen, I am not feeling particularly too fine this morning, okay? Me? I just need a couple of hours break. That's all. Hopefully by afternoon I'll feel better. And definitely I'll join you with the afternoon flight. You, you go ahead and keep Mr. Yinshu Chow company till I get there, okay? Yeah. Tony, there's a problem here. I mean, are you sure you're going to make it in the afternoon? Trust me, I will be there. Just tell Mr. Okafa to book me the ticket. <sighs> okay, I'll do that. I guess I'll be expecting you in Lagos then. Yeah, fine. Cheers, man. All right. Six flights. Thank you. I know, I know, I'm on my way, yeah. I said I'm on my way, I'll be there. Yeah, bye, bye. Yeah, I Hi. Hi. My name is Tony, Tony Arena. I'm Trisha Macaulay. Nice to meet you. Same here. Nice name. Thank you. I find you quite interesting. Really? Yeah. Really. <laughs> Listen, I I don't know what to say really. I'm so short of I'm so short of words, sorry. I'm so short of words. Um, but 
I don't want to come across rude, but if you don't mind, do you, do you have a boyfriend? Not really, but I'm sort of engaged, and I'm sorry I can't help but tell the truth. <laughs> Amazing, I mean, because likewise myself, I, I'm engaged too, and I truly, honestly too, can help but tell the truth. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so we do have something in common. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, honestly. Um, it's just so unfortunate. I have to travel down to Lagos now for an important business meeting. And I don't know if I could possibly get your contact. Huh? I really appreciate it. OK. Have you read this? No. Oh. I actually just finished this and um, as a masterpiece. I love you to have it. Thank you. It's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> Thank you. And um that's a contact and your number right there. Sure. I'm really sorry. I'm about to lose my flight. <laughs> Here, um, here's my card. Please, I beg you, keep in touch. Okay? It was nice meeting you. seem to get Tony off my head. I don't understand. It's he's like a virus running through my blood. It's it's everywhere. And I'm so sick of love song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trisha, do you know the one that beats me? The way you fall head over head for him. Because the very first day you set your eyes on that guy in that back, you've not been yourself. Now tell me, Trisha, are you sure you're not getting infatuated? Do you don't understand? This is far from infatuation. It's, it's, it's like a a spellbinding force coming out from nowhere and God, it's blowing my senses away please Trisha you told me that that guy was engaged to someone else just like you oh. so tell me how are you going to cope with it I don't know you don't know you better think Good. Hmm. Okay, don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Babe, 
You know I still can't believe that we are through with NYSE. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I can't wait to go to the circle of one day. <laughs> My husband will be waiting with open hands. <laughs> I can't wait to see him. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, it's a job first. Then, and then I... Then what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. Hope you're not still daydreaming about it, don't you? You should just have to be careful, okay? Thanks. <laughs> well, <laughs> when I get home, I'll call you, okay? How can something that is wrong be so right? I'm engaged to another man. Yet, here I am, dying for a total stranger. Oh God, it is hard to believe, but I wish to knew where the one I was engaged to. I just wish. Lonely nights and lonely days. I'm tired of all this loneliness. Every time I see two people together. Wonder if I'll ever find my own true lover. scene of an accident quite on time as soon as I got the call so I secured your luggages and I kept them in a uh, safe place. Uh, sorry honey, sorry, sorry. Time for questioning, Rachel, okay? If you've seen the novel, tell me. Otherwise, just let me be. Excuse me? Anyway, I, I, I just came to find out what you were going to do about your last phone. But since you're busy, I have to go. How did I misplace that novel in the first place? 
first place. Because I remember that I can... Or is it my imagination that I thought I came back with it? Hey. Maybe I forgot it in the hotel after I saw Trisha. You know? Yeah. Maybe it's there in the hotel in Potaka. Because I could be the only logical explanation I could. What do you mean I don't care about you and your needs anymore? Huh? It's very clear, Tony. Since you came back from your last trip to Portacot, you just changed. You no longer care about me. You no longer talk to me. You don't even care about my feminine needs. I don't understand it, okay? I don't, I don't understand it. What is happening to us, Tony? Is it that you're no longer interested in me or what? You must understand how stressful my business has become. Oh, please! Don't blame me for your business, because I don't believe you! So what do you want from me now? Tell me. Or what do you want me to say? Baby, what about our wedding plans? You promised that Hey, please, you... don't go there. Alright, please, I still have it at the back of my mind. I just need time to organize myself. Please. I misplaced a very important document of mine in Port Harcourt. Document? Yeah. How important is it? Extremely important. Well, I think the best thing we can do is take the time, go back to Port Harcourt, check out all the places you went to. I'm pretty sure you will find it. That's a very good idea. I think it's a good thought, so... Oh, you know, 
this mess. But you fought me and told me. You fought me to go to Tony and disgrace myself. I know I might have made a mistake. I'm not giving you a proper opinion. But I want the best for you when I see you. That only called off your relationship is not the end of the road for you. What is the end of the road for me, mother? Tell me! The end of the road for me is the fact that you denied me the man who truly loved me and wanted me. And now, you know what? I've lost everything. I've lost, I've lost the idiot of me. Tell me, tell me what do I have? What do you want me to do? What do I want me to do? <laughs> It still baffles me that a gentle and well-bred man like Tony would bring in a prostitute. I still can't believe it. How would you believe it? No, Tony, why would you believe it when Richard is a liar? Okay? I just I just cooked up the story. A lie, yes, I know I'm lying. That is not what I mean. It is not what I mean. Oh, what you mean?